Hey guys, Chris at RCM, we're back with another one. This is our 2022 Ranger XP1000 crew. We'll do a little walk around, we'll show you some of the features. So, we've started out with a front rack system. It is fully openable so that you can still access your main breakers underneath the front end. We've added a few lights along with the whip lights, full windshield. To the top, we installed two 50 inch curb light bars. On the rack itself, we did two seven inch as well as a 22 inch curve. And on the front bumper on the lower side, we installed a 13 inch that is tied into the headlights. Unit also has dual 45 pound synthetic Kimpex winches on it. One on the front, one on the rear. I'll show you the rear when we get there. On the suspension, we did a six inch big lift kit from High Lifter, um, along with upgraded control arms that are also a relocate just to give you clearance for these monstrosity 44 inch Terminator Max tires running on their fuel 24 inch rims. Um, on the inside of that, we have installed the High Lifter eight inch portals. They are a 50% reduction. So top speed is not your go-to with this unit. It is designed to rock climb and go through pretty much anything you can throw at it. The unit is built to go through just about anything you can throw at it. It is not built for top speed. Um, but with the control arm lift and everything else like that, it did get upgraded shock, so it'll pretty much handle anything you can throw at it. But we also installed 20 rock lights underneath this unit, as well as in the cab. There's two in each wheel well, and there's six underneath. They might be a little bit difficult to see, but once you uh, get this thing out in the dark, it's definitely gonna glow. Along with the rock lights on the exterior, we installed one underneath the dash, one underneath the back, along with our favorite five pack of rock switches. On the dash, we installed light switches, rock lights, and everything else like that. On this unit, we also installed a power lift box. So it's simple as push a button, up, down, and uh, you don't have to get out. You don't have to release any levers. Now, all the lights do control all independent areas. On the inside of this, along with the lower rock lights, we've also installed four in the roof with the smoked acrylic roof. On this unit, we installed two sound bars. You've got a 28 inch on the interior and there is also a 42 inch on the back. That one is wired directly to a secondary battery, which we'll show you after. Um, so if you're out at the lake or wherever you happen to be, you can sit there and bump your tunes all night long. And we've isolated the batteries so that you can kill the battery that runs the sound bar and still be able to start this thing and drive it home at the end of the day. We've also installed four seven inch LED lights. So they are controlled on the same switch. So if you need that side light, you can just flip one switch, everything turns on. While we've got you on the outside, we'll uh, run the box just to show the ease of convenience on it. Put the switch on the dash. All you gotta do is scan outside of it, turn the key on, and off you go. Once you're done offloading, you can drop it back down, super simple. No locks, no messing around, and you're off to the races. Because of the tires, because of the rims, everything else like that, we also did a mud clutch kit on this thing, so it is gonna give you better bottom line torque to get over those rocks, through those mud holes, anything that you could possibly think of. So on the rear, we installed a rear cargo rack, which we've tied the lights to, as well as the sound bar. On the roof of the unit itself, on the rear, we've installed two 42 inch curved or straight light bars, pardon me, um, along with a high lifter snorkel kit. So you're looking at about a six foot deep river that you're going through before you gotta worry about sucking water in. As we mentioned before, we installed dual winches, so another 4,500 pound Kimpex winch, synthetic line on it as well. Um, we also installed an aftermarket bumper that's got a little more meat to it with a couple reverse lights as well. Underneath that bumper, we had a custom built RJWC Apex exhaust, custom made for this unit. Definitely gonna let people know you're coming. It is very loud. On top of all of our rock lights on this one, we also installed two four foot whips on the rear box. And on the front end, we did two three foots. Now they are all rogue lights. So one controller, you can change all the lights, make them all blue, all pink, whatever color you want. Under the back seat on the passenger side is where you will find all the power that's controlling all of the accessories we've installed in this unit. There is dual solenoids as well as a fuse block that completely lights up. So if you blow a fuse, just look for the red light. Underneath this tray is where we've installed the second battery along with the original factory one. So if there is any power issues, this is where you're gonna go. The tray is not secured, so it's easy to pop out, throw a booster pack on, whatever the case might be. 
We've got everything turned on, whip lights are glowing blue, just because the unit's blue. Uh, but it is ample lighting no matter what happens. That's our uh, newest build from RCM. Uh, come stop by, have a look. You know, maybe we'll find something that fits your budget, fits uh, the size that you're after. Um, for now, we're out. We'll uh, see you next time.